Luke Dunn, personal best. The Irish St. Ledger trial, and it looks like the Irish are taking a leaf out of the English books with a paltry four horse field. The favourite was Shamita. In the Group 3 Comer Group International Irish St. Ledger trial stakes, two Royal Ascot winners in the lineup. Both trained by Joseph O'Brien, Don Rising, and Okita Soche, and it's the latter who takes them along from Point King, Dawn Rising, and dropped in. The end of the first furlong, the favourite Shamida. Striding on in front by three and a half lengths, Okita Soshi, followed by Point King, Dawn Rising in third, and the back marker is Shamida. Well settled down now, the end of the opening quarter of a mile. It's Okita Soshi. And Mikey Sheehy cutting out the running from Point King and Dylan Brown McMonigal in third place, Dawn Rising and Declan McDonough, fourth of the four, the three year old filly Shamida and Chris Hayes. Continuing over on the far side, soon coming up to the final mile and a quarter. Order unchanged, it's Okita Soshi, the leader from Point King, gap of good four lengths to Dawn Rising, overtaken for the third spot by Shamida. They race right across from the stands. Okita Soshi in front. With a reduced advantage of a couple of lengths of a point king as the quartet tightens up, Shamida's moved into third place, relegating Dawn Rising to be last of the four. Inside the final nine furlongs, Okita Soshi by less than two lengths to point king. Shamida third, the back marker is Dawn Rising. Racing to their final mile, in the Group 3 Comer Group International Irish St. Ledger Trial Stakes, Okita Soshi yet to be headed, chased from the time the stalls opened by Point King, Shamita third on the outside of Dawn Rising, as they come uphill having passed the halfway stage. Okita Soshi, followed by Point King, Shamida, and Dawn Rising. Six furlongs out, continuing up to the highest point of the course, Okita Soshi, by two lengths to Point King, Shamida, and Dawn Rising. Reaching the final five furlongs, soon to make the descent for the approach to the straight Okita Soche. Mikey Sheehy continuing at the head of the race from Point King, much closer in second for Dylan Brown, McMonigal, Shamida, Chris Hayes third on the outside of Dawn Rising, and Declan McDonough. Heading for the home turn. Less than four lengths covering them, Okita Soche, Point King, followed by Shamida and Dawn Rising as they straighten that up inside the final three furlongs. Okita Soshi with Shamida coming there quite stylishly on the outside of a ridden along Point King and their slipstream by Dawn Rising. Three less than two furlongs to go, three lengths covering them. Okita Soshi from Shamida driven up on the outside. Dawn Rising trying to get to grips with them, leaving behind Point King and Shamida picks it up. Racing to the final furlong from Dawn Rising, who's a strong stare on the outside. Followed by Akita Soshi and Shamida on the inside of Dawn Rising. Half a length between them. Shamida is on a run to three in the Comer Group International St. Ledger trial, beating off the Joseph O'Brien. Shamita is the winner. The three-year-old now has three wins from five starts and Dermot Weld as trainer. That's a name that's synonymous with our Melbourne Cup. At the moment, she's nommed for the Paddy Power Stakes and Doncaster St. Ledger, but in a post-race interview, trainer Dermot Weld stated she's likely to run in the Prix de Royal O in France on September the 30th. There's a link to that article in the video description. Check the odds, pick a winner. Trying to get to grips with them, leaving behind Point King and Shamida picks it up. Racing to the final furlong from Dawn Rising, who's a strong stare on the outside. Followed by Akita Soshi and Shamida on the inside of Dawn Rising. Half a leg between them. Shamida is on a run to three. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. I agree. Where's your home?